made my first sheet of wrapping paper yesterday with um, gingerbread men. Where is my stamp? Here it is. So a bit like last year, I have got my lino printing kit out again and thought I'd just give it a go. This size might be suitable for gift tags as well, so let me know if you'd like to see that happen. But what I've done is I've just let this dry overnight and I've just tied it together with some twine. I'm going to pop it to one side and then I can get it back out again when I'm ready to wrap some Christmas prezzies this year. But um, yeah, I'll be reusing this again at some point. Might make some cards and gift tags with it and some more wrapping paper. I'm in my onesie right now because Vespa was um, a poorly boy last night. I need to start a drawing of Vespa today so I'm going to get all my pencils and things ready and then um, get ready and dress to do virtual office with Leanne again but yeah Vespa was sick last night so I was up at various points during the night scrubbing sick off my carpets which is never fun I'm just really really tired this morning right I've got all my pencils I'm also going to get um, a new pouch I think I've got my eye on one I think Ruth Hammond might be making some pouches but I might get one from her if she's doing them, but yeah, I want to get a pouch. And then I made uh, a start on Vespa yesterday, and I finished him today, so I'll show you him as well. He's all finished. So, I don't know if I've said this yet, and I can't remember for the life of me if I said it in my last video. Hello, baby. You okay? Yes. Um, so, I don't know if I said this in my last video or not, but basically my plan for these is to not only practice for pet commissions, which a lot of you have been asking after them, which is very exciting thank you so much for showing such an interest in pet portraits i'm hoping to open those up next year because at the moment i just feel very very swamped with halloween and christmas but i wanted to get these done for a bit of practice so that i had a little bit more clarity on the direction that i want to go in um, with those but i also really want to get some prints of these made so i'm going to be doing 20 of each dog so you can either get both or just one or the other because I know a lot of you have your favourites. <laughs> a lot of you are team custard. We need more team Vespa. But a lot of you really, really like the dog. So I thought it would be really cute to get just 20. So I'm not going to get too many. I'm going to get just 20 of each dog. And my plan is to donate 10% from each print to a dog shelter so I've been doing some research on dog shelters I just want to make sure that I'm choosing a shelter that is a legit place and isn't like a scam or anything silly like that and donate 10% from each print 
uh, to a dog shelter. Uh, I'm going to be ordering the prints this weekend because I have a big batch of stuff that I want to get ordered. So I've got some bits for my Halloween patron boxes that I'm going to be posting at next month. They are limited slots as well so if you want, um, even if you just want the Halloween box, if you um, sign up to the bubblegum tier you will get the Halloween box in October. If you sign up in September, you'll get your September goodies as well, if that makes sense. But yeah, I am thinking of taking the rewards back to once every month because it's currently once every two months. But because it's Halloween next month, I am sending an additional box. So that's going out in October, ready for Halloween. I'm ordering some stuff for that and I'm ordering my doggy prints. I'm ordering my zines as well, my Halloween zines, which will hopefully be going on sale by the end of next week so a lot is going on as soon as i'm finished with halloween i can crack on with christmas and that is why i'm not um committing or opening up pet portraits just yet because i don't want to overwhelm myself i have been feeling a bit overwhelmed recently so i just i don't want to do that to myself and then just not be in the best position possible to commit to doing other people's pet portraits so practice is a good idea anyway just thought i would give you an update on my pencil situation so my arteza ones as you guys know i really like them but i will slowly be replacing them with the faber castell ones because i started using these on the custard piece and i've used them a bit on vespa but um they're so much nicer they are a really nice pencil to use so i've got some more in my jackson shopping basket at the moment i'm going to get some more colors as much as i love arteza I don't like that the colours rub off of the of the pencil itself, um, which isn't the end of the world for some people, but I like to know. So this one you can see says space grey on it and you can see the number and everything, but like the more I've used particular colours, they do rub off and you just... <laughs> and this is how short my black is now, so I have been using it a lot, but yeah, they just rub off. Um, so we'll see how the Faber-Castell ones go but they feel printed on the Arteza ones whereas the Faber-Castell they're kind of like you know debossed on or embossed or you know but um yeah I, I can't see this coming off as easy and they are a beautiful pencil to use so I'm going to be getting some more of these I really like them and just to um broaden up my colour spectrum a bit I did have to get out my Prisma colours that I always forget that I have so I have a box of 36 and I've been using um, I've been using the shade Goldenrod with Vespa's coat if it's going to focus anytime this millennium that would be amazing so there we go Goldenrod so I've whipped out a Prisma colour um, and I really like Prisma colours too but I do like Faber-Castell as well so we're going to be maybe testing out some more pencils over the next few months and seeing how we get on with them but yeah i'm really getting into pencil work right now i'm really enjoying it my plan now is to scan these in and set up some artwork files ready to send them off at the weekend and then once that's done it is solidly working on the last couple of pages for my zine let's let's do it okay so today has been super productive i've got my vespa file ready to send I've got custard as well and I've also designed these thank you cards so they'll just be like a little slip that goes in so if you order one of these you'll get a thank you from my babies and the charity we're going to be supporting this time around is Wood Green which um, I think they do a variety of animals but we've, we've gone with these um, and obviously if we do something like this again then we'll choose a different charity but for this time around we're going to go with Wood Green and um i will also leave a link below if you want to go and check them out and see what they do for the animals but yes i've designed these and that has been added to my list of things to send to my printers at the end of the week thought i'd show you guys this um subscription box from the lovely peach panda peachy panda studios I have got paint and god knows what underneath my nails like an absolute tramp but here we go this is um I think it's a new subscription box but this theme is happy earth and it shows you on the back what's inside but I just thought I would show you so there's some sweets in here my favorite there are some little stickers 
this confetti as well and there's a little badge little earth badge happy planet there's some stickers which is my favorite thing in the box these are fully recyclable too which is nice just got like eco-friendly designs on and recycle encouragement so this is um paper craft that you can do at home but it is like a fortune teller thing and it's got instructions at the bottom and it tells you how to use it and cut it out and make it yourself and then there's a little look at all of this confetti it's so cute just trying to pick it up oh so there's a little postcard in there as well which is really cute and you can actually use it as a postcard so yes very very sweet thank you so much to um peach panda for sending me this it was a gifted thing but i just wanted to show it to you guys <coughs> morning let's get this blind up and get some light in here maybe not too much light oh my goodness the autumn sun is like the hardest to work in when you're in the window there was me thinking i'm gonna work back in front of the window but some days the glare and like the brightness and the overcast is crazy anyway i've had a couple of deliveries this morning um i've had a restock of my skeleton badges so i'm going to restock those today and i think i mentioned that i was going to order some pencils from jackson's um so i had these two already these ones came last week and i've ordered some more so let's have a look i also got this um pencil extender as recommended to me by leanne because um some of my arteza ones are getting quite small now and i didn't even know these things existed the only downside is that arteza ones don't fit in this thing um the other pencils do including the prisma colors but the arteza ones are too small even when you tighten it but um yeah i was like leanne what do i do and she said you can shove a bit of paper in there and it should secure it so i got a pencil extender and i got six new pencils so this one here is walnut brown and uh, this one here which is burnt ochre there is a Payne's grey a nougat and cold grey number four and cold grey number two i think so some lovely neutral tones to add to my collection of faber castells and that's really going to help me out when i get drawing some more animals more natural shades for things like coats and eyes and stuff like that So I have made some little Cousin and Vesper Christmas cards. These are the first ones of the season. Um, I might restock quite some very limited numbers of some designs from last year, just in case anybody really liked those. But I thought I'd refresh the shop and bring some new ones back as well. Um, so yeah, I've just done four for now, just to see how they go. But um, yeah, first Christmas card. I feel like um, now we can fully get on with Christmas because um, yesterday I sent off for my Halloween zines, the doggy prints. So these ones I sent off for the prints yesterday of Custard and Vespa um, and also some thank you cards. These were dummy ones, I tried doing my own but I just, I wasn't happy with the quality of the photo prints. So hopefully getting them like outsourced they'll come out a bit better. Um, so I've ordered those. The thank you cards and then a little something for my patreon halloween boxes as well but they should be here sometime next week mm -hmm. 